she won't let me get a shark. I think the kids would have a lot of fun having a shark. You like a pet shark. See, see you pet it. Good little shark. Oh well. Maybe an alligator? I wonder if these squeak. No, no, these don't squeak. What are we doing now? Eating chocolate cookies? After we eat the chocolate cookies, what are we doing? I believe we're heading north. North. Towards home. Towards home. North towards home. Thumbs up. <laughs> She's trying to follow her. So, today is day number two. And we are leaving Atlanta, Georgia, headed to Fort Pierce, Florida. That's about an eight hour drive without traffic. Then we're gonna be heading back north who knows if we're gonna go for eight hours or if we're gonna come just a few hours. Anyways, lots of driving today. Uh, yesterday went shopping, uh, got some clothes for Tara. Yahoo! And right now we're at the north end of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's saying Fort Pierce, Florida. Yes, that's right, Fort Pierce, Florida, where we're headed to. We'll be there about 4.47 p.m is what the GPS is saying. Yeah, so this is gonna be a fun day. Uh, you have any comments today, Erin? No, nope, I'm just waking up. She's just waking up. I woke up before and that's why I have more words to say. <laughs> Don't worry, I might get her today talking on the camera. Yes. Adios. We're going to downtown Atlanta! Quite busy. And it's 7 30 on a Saturday. Oh, someone's getting over in front of us. Oh boy. But we made it. We're dancing. Caleb's a good dancer. Brake lights ahead. Ooh, looky. Brake lights in this vehicle. <laughs> oh, well, I can't get a good picture of the buildings. Mm. Uh, I can't do it with my phone. Well you can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah I can't flip the switch. Well what you do is you hit stop and then flip the switch and then oh. hit record. So it takes like reflexes. Okay. Gotta make sure it's to get in the left lane now. Approaching the left lane. Turn signal on. Taxi! Ooh. He can keep up with those Atlanteans. I thought you were going to say the taxis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you're in a race car game? We're in the wrong vehicle. <laughs> Most race car games do not have a minivan. Well, I don't they know why, they just don't seem to go for the minivans. Might ought to suggest it. <sighs> go figure. Oh well. Coca-Cola. <clears throat> I should put makeup on this, shouldn't I? It's fine. You're gonna edit it out? Oh, I edit it out. Promise? No. Okay, so we're talking about when we come back to Florida, in a few months or so, with the kids, we're going to Disney, right, Caleb? We are going to Florida. Oh, we are going to Disney, and we can just do one day, and then later in life we'll take our longer Disney vacation. But if we do one day, we get to see Mickey and Minnie and princesses, and the kids will love it. And we'll be down here anyway, so you know it's like a few hundred dollars in tickets, and then we get to go, right? Don't make fun of my hands. What do you think? We can do it? <laughs> he won't commit. It's okay, we'll do it. Maybe. Unless he talks me out of it, but then we'll have it. Right? What'd you say? I said we'll do it, maybe. Unless you talk me out of it, but that won't happen. Well. For a few hundred dollars, can we have just one day of really an exciting time? Or have a great playground. 
think you can get a great playground for three hundred dollars? You think six people can go to a, that place for three hundred dollars? It's not that expensive. It's like going to Kings Island. Oh, okay. And getting a great playground. You can't get a great playground for three hundred dollars. You want me to show you on Craigslist too? And Why? we might still get that other one. Because you might be one. proved wrong. We might still get that other one. Good. We can save the three hundred dollars now. I want to go to Disney. You'll be okay. Don't you want to see Mickey and Goofy? <laughs> yeah, no. That's almost been one of my lifelong dreams. It's been mine. Doesn't that matter? It's yes, my it dream. Does. I have a dream to see Mickey Mouse. Well, I don't want to spoil your dream because in person it may not be as special as what you think. So, let's not ruin your dream. Let's keep it as a fond, futuristic memory. Just think when we'll you're nice before. and old and gray and about to die, you can still have your dream of going to see Mickey. No, because if you don't take me, I'm going to take our grandchildren. like limes but they could be oranges because I guess oranges are green before they're orange <sighs> is it really an orange tree I want one oh, it would die you can put it in the back of the van it would the die chair. let's see wow it's my second time ever seeing an orange tree I don't know if it's an orange tree oh, I just made that up to pick on you because you said the other time that it was an orange and a grapefruit tree. Well, you know what? One side was small and the other side was large. It's mycitrustree.com. It could be anything. They're too big to be limes. They don't smell like anything. Those are lime. These are... It's the same and then they're orange. Some are orange, some are lime. Alright, let's go and go inside. You can get this and be like with the kids. We caught it for you. Caught it from the store. <laughs> you did. And if you want to say technically, you paid the person to catch it for you. Because you did pay. Wow. Did you want to see about what? What are you I thinking? Myself. So here I am near the sharks. It's a shark. She won't let me get a shark. I think the kids would have a lot of fun having a shark. You like a pet shark. See you pet it. Good little shark. Oh well. Maybe an alligator? I wonder if these squeak. No, no, these don't squeak. But you can, like dump water in them, they're like that the kids are like that. Maybe I should taste an orange to see if we want one. You don't know what an orange tastes like? It depends on the kind of orange. Well, do you know what kind of orange is coming to these orange trees? No. He said, only, he said mostly navel and Valencia. Okay. I think you'll be fine with it. It's more about the fun of it than the actual. It's the fun. Oof. If you want to, we can. We don't have to either way. It'd be fun if it actually were, because where would we keep it? We would have to go in the living room when it's inside. Now you think about the navel tree right there. Yeah, I know. Okay. So if you want that much space taken out of the living room, we can do it. 
But if you're like, you know what, I really don't want that much space taken up. I'll tell you what, why don't we leave it alone for now? We're coming back to Florida, right? Yeah. So we can always decide later. Okay. Okay. You sure you don't want a baby shark? I'm sure. We can decide later. Okay. It's a big river. Not high up in the air. We're about to be. Oh man, it's okay. I've been over the Kentucky River. It'll be okay. But not the Tennessee River. Uh huh. Here it goes. What do you think? This is gonna be exciting. Bears on the road. Bears on the road. That road over there? Kale, don't, don't. Wow. This is a river? This it's huge. It's St. John's, that's why it's huge. That makes no sense. We're going higher and higher and higher. You can't really tell that in the video, though. When will we stop going higher? Right about now. Now we're going to go lower and lower and lower. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, now it's recording. <laughs> they have on the back of their windshield, this is Disney bound and it has Mickey and Minnie um, heads. And it's so cute. And we're going to do that when we go to Disney too. <laughs> There's an outlet. <gasps> now, Kayla, that would be fun. Go to an so, here we are. Daytona, Florida. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. Especially at Auto Mall, Red Tag Sale. On the positive note, only two more hours until we get there. And then we turn around and drive back. You want me to hit the brakes every now and then? Yeah. Should probably put the camera down too. Good. I'm not recording Tara at all. But this is Aunt Debbie. We're trapped <laughs> outside of the nursing home. At least we're not trapped inside. So that's, that's good news there. So you ring the doorbell and you wait. I did the red one. Oh, that does hurt. It actually does. I didn't think it would. Oh, that hurts. I should do it to you. Let me try it to you. Then it to yourself. Don't do it to me. Oh, that hurt so much. <laughs> Did it really hurt? No. I should get your arm then. Okay. Did that hurt? <laughs> I felt it, but... <laughs> it hurt me. I think I'm gonna get a bruise. So, here we are in sunny Florida. Perfect weather. Um, except for the hurricane that's right there. So, if we looked at the sky, there we go. See the nice, pretty clouds. Sunny Florida, anyways. Uh, partially sunny that is shopping with the wife and about to get some food before heading back to Georgia because I Don't think there's another state actually there are a few states. There's Alabama. We could go to north of Florida. That is there's uh, South Carolina Is that what it is? I'm getting food very important to have food. What are we doing now? Eating chocolate cookies after we eat the chocolate cookies, what are we doing? I believe we're heading north. North. Towards home. Towards home. North towards home. Thumbs up. Just made it to Atlanta, 11.41 p.m. On the street lines that guide you home. We have about three more hours till we get to the motel. And part of the reason for that is that motels are full or very expensive. So we're driving back to Atlanta to spend the night where we spent last night. So it's about 16 hours driving in one day in the van. It's kind of cool though. We've almost gone like a full tank worth of gas without stopping. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of like a little record. 
Uh, so that's close to uh, 350 miles uh, without stopping. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, Tara's taking a nap for now. So it's 3 or 4, 3 oh 04 a.m. No, what time is it, Tara? We have room 304. We have room 304. <laughs> but it's 3 something. It's, yeah, it's 3 something. 3.30 a.m. Back in Atlanta, same exact place as last night. See the chandelier? Kind of proves it's the same place. And Tara is not going to be on video, right? That's right. She's going to refuse. Oh. Caleb, it's 3 in the morning. Because it's 3 in the morning. We've been having a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. It's amazing how much fun you can have in a vehicle for like 16 hours in one day. Oh my word. Yep. That was just a blast. Yeah. So, we're going to wake up like 9 a.m. and leave by 10 a.m. So that way we can be in Cincinnati by like 6 p.m. I don't want to wake up until like 1 o'clock. So the deal was, is tomorrow I can drive. She hasn't driven at all. I can keep driving, I guess is the key word. And she can sleep in the middle of the day, right? It's not going to happen. Uh, tonight, she did take a nap, though, in the car. She, the, she decided, you know what, Caleb, I want to take a nap until we get to Georgia. Just when we stop, you know, obviously she'd want to use the restroom. We, we drove 300, over 350 miles without stopping. So, like, no potty breaks, no nothing. I uh, just, um, we had food, and yeah, you guys saw us getting food. Florida with the hurricane, so we drove through some hurricane weather. Yeah, and so that's what happened, right? 350 miles, no stopping. So, she decided to take her nap. I decided to listen to music. I listened to two songs. Very loudly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. I was I was tuning the sound system in the van for my wife because she drives loud. the van a lot. So yeah, and yeah, it was great. But anyways, two songs, and then she decided her nap time was over with because we stopped. We were in Georgia. It so, was my power nap. It lasted like five minutes. Yes, we drove pretty much from Fort Pierce, Florida, to Georgia, over 350 miles. Yeah. Great adventure. Are you tired? I can't wait to sleep. Turn it off. <laughs> she, she's rocking over here like she's. <laughs> rrr, rrr, rrr. she's, she's, she's it's starting like to fall asleep. my bedtime. Okay. So yeah, that's what's going on, huh? Yes. Are your eyes red? The whole face is red. <laughs> Just try it out on a polo.